Hey guys, welcome back. Um, so last time we did the cold reset procedure, I was actually using uh, an older version of the manual, uh, which isn't applicable to this saw. So this is the M3.0 version. Um, and if you have an M3.0 version or later, which can be found on the identification sticker, and I'll give you a, sh a shot of that, um, that that 3.0 version or later, this procedure is applicable. So I apologize for the misinformation in that last video and hopefully we get it right this time. So let's go ahead and get into the procedure. Uh, the procedure is you'll actually engage the chain brake, set the saw all the way down to triangle, all the way at the bottom, and then you're going to start the saw. You'll let the saw idle without touching the throttle for 30 seconds to one minute. You do not want to go less, you do not want to go more. So 30 seconds to 60 seconds. Once that's done, say you go 35 seconds, you will disengage the brake, the chain brake, and then you will peg the throttle completely wide open. You do not let off the throttle for the next 30 seconds. You will hear the saw make audible acceleration changes. Audibly it will change. You'll see it will automatically run through a cycle. Now during that cycle, you do not let off the throttle. If you do it all, it will mess up your calibration. You're going to want to shut the saw off and start calibration again. Uh, once you've done that, the saw will, after you've gone 30 seconds, the saw will, you'll notice an audible uh, drop from the throttle. It'll go back to almost to idle. You'll let off the throttle immediately. Calibration's complete. Now, if you run into any issues, like you're in the middle of calibration, the shot shuts off, start from the beginning again. If it does it repeatedly, there's an issue. You need to take it to your local steel dealership, and they'll actually flash the chip for you. Now, first off, I have glasses on. I do have hearing protection and gloves. I've checked the chain to make sure it's uh, tight enough or it's not gonna come off. We're being safe. Uh, a lot of people comment on my safety. It's probably a good thing I need to check myself every once in a while. So there's a couple different ways to start the saw safely. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the in between the legs. So the you can hear that the brake is engaged and then we're gonna give the saw a couple pulls with it all the way down in that triangle position. So let's go, and we're going to run 30 seconds. It went all the way up. You can see it went through a cycle. It went to maximum revolutions per minute, and then it dropped back down to a, a noticeably lesser speed. That's when we kill the throttle. The cold reset procedure is now complete, and I let it idle for about another five to 10 seconds, and uh, that's it. That's the whole procedure. Thank you guys for watching.